Hi, and welcome to your Humber News Update. I'm Earl Abalalan coming to you from our newsroom here at Humber College North Campus. Here's what we're working on this hour. It's a day for the history books. Scientists have landed a spacecraft on a comet. It happened just moments ago. The European Space Agency celebrated their historic landing, the first ever satellite to write on a comet. The landing robot called Philae spent 10 years attached to the side of the spacecraft Rosetta during their journey across the solar system. The historic mission began its seven hour descent to the surface of Comet 67P early this morning. Scientists weren't sure about the makeup of the comet, so they didn't know whether the lander would hold on. Two young men are dead after a small plane crash in Algonquin Provincial Park. A Cessna similar to the one left Buttonville Airport this and was scheduled to travel to St. Hubert, Quebec. Officials say the pilot declared an emergency at 8.30 last night before traffic controllers lost contact with the plane. Both victims were reported to be in their 20s. The cause of the crash is still being investigated. The TTC is apologizing for leaving passengers stuck on a subway for an hour on Monday night. It happened during rush hour and commuters were forced to walk along the tracks to get out. The breakdown wasn't reported until the last night when this video was posted by one of the passengers. Thousands were trapped between Museum and St. George stations. The TTC had to cut power to a section of the track. Spokesman Brad Ross says it was beyond their control. Earlier this morning, TTC had a signal problems that delayed the morning commute along the Bloor Danforth line. It's lockdown week at Humber College and drills are happening across all campuses. Meanwhile, down at the University of Toronto, students are protesting against the use of fossil fuels. We'll have the details coming up on our 2 o'clock show. In the world of sports, the Raptors continue their winning streak after defeating the Orlando Magic and the Montreal Can Canadiens come up with a big win. Turning to weather. You better prepare for a cold one out there. It's currently 3 degrees, but it feels like minus 2. Mostly cloudy with some sunny breaks, but bundle up for those 30-kilometer winds. It's not often athletes cross over to other sports, but at the Raptors Remembrance Day game last night, this athlete showed basketball fans how to play with something different on home turf. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Canadian tennis superstar, Jeannie Bouchard! The Raptors well, mascot did his best Bouchard impression as the two faced off in a match. Bouchard defeated the mascot and added another win on the hard courts. She signed a basketball and tennis ball before lobbing them into the stands. That's your 12 o'clock news update. We'll be back for more Humber News at 2.